Hello everyone. Now we know about the whole animal kingdom. But it is too vast and versatile. So let us try to understand how the whole animal kingdom is divided into different phyla. Then how each phylum is divided into classes and then classes are divided into orders. Then families and then genera. Each genus contains many many species. But we wouldn't go that deep right now. Let us understand how to arrive at different phyla of the animal kingdom starting from the very basic characteristic. At first the animal kingdom is divided into phylum based on very very basic body design. First we see whether an animal has proper tissues or not. The animals in the phylum Porifera have partially differentiated tissues and not true tissues. So we can say they have only cellular level organization. Other than phylum Porifera, all the phyla show tissue level organization. Next we see if animals having tissues have coelom or not. Few primitive animals have tissue level organization but they do not have body cavity. That is they are acelomate. Now Animals of Nidaria, also known as Cilenterata phylum and Platyhelminthus phylum have no such coelom. Nematodes like round worm have pseudo coelom but that is not the real coelom. Animals which have body cavity or coelom are divided into many phyla based on different characteristics. They all are called coelomates as they have real coelom or body cavity. These all animals are triploblastic which means their body is formed from three layers of cells. Now based on different features coelomates are divided into different phyla. For example phylum Enilida. The animal's body is made of ring like segments. Arthropoda. Orthropods have segmented body and have jointed legs. Spider, cockroach etc. belong to this phylum Arthropoda. Next phylum Mollusca. They have an unsegmented soft body protected by a skeleton. Snail, octopus etc. belong to this phylum. Echinodermata phylum. Animals in this phylum have spines on their skin. For example, starfish. Now if you see annelids, orthopods, mollusks and even echinoderms. All these are triploblastic and have coelom. But in case of annelids, orthopods and mollusks, they have coelom formed from mesodermal cell. Whereas in case of echinoderms, the coelom is formed from the pouches pinched off from endoderm and there is no notochord present in case of echinoderms. After the presence of coelom and which type of coelom is present? We see if notochord is present or not. If notochord is present then the animal belongs to chordata group. In some animals which belong to chordata group the notochord is not present in all stages of life. So they are grouped in protochordata. Whereas if proper vertebral column is present then the animals are grouped in vertebrata. Now vertebrates are the most advanced animals in the nature and they are divided into five classes. Pisces, all fishes belong to this class. Amphibians, as we know, can live both on land and in water like frog. Reptilia, these are cold-blooded animals having scales on their body and lay eggs. Avis, meaning class of birds. The body is covered with feathers and four limbs are modified to wings and hence they can fly. 
lastly mammalia that is our class these are warm blooded animals with four chambered heart and they have external clearly visible ears and the body is covered with hair so that was all about animal kingdom in brief that's all for now bye bye